Imagine being born into a wealthy family, only to reject it all for revolution. This was the story of Fidel Castro. Born in 1926, Fidel was the son of a prosperous sugar farmer and a school teacher in Cuba. His early life was a blend of luxury and discipline, primarily shaped by his education at Jesuit boarding schools. Even as a young boy, Castro demonstrated an inclination towards politics. His school years were filled not just with academic pursuits, but also active participation in student politics. But it was during his time studying law at the University of Havana, that Castro found his political compass truly aligning. Here, he was first introduced to socialist ideologies, a path that resonated with his own beliefs. This exposure to socialist ideas ignited a spark in him, a spark that would later grow into a blazing flame of revolution. Castro's early life was a mix of privilege and political awakening, setting the stage for his future revolutionary actions. Castro's life took a dramatic turn as he became the revolutionary figure we know him as today. A pivotal moment in his journey was the failed attack on the Moncada barracks in 1953. With a small group of rebels Castro aimed to overthrow then-dictator Fulgencio Batista. However, the attack was unsuccessful, and Castro, along with his brother Raul, was captured and put on trial. During his trial, Castro delivered a rousing defense speech, now famously known as, History Will Absolve Me. This speech was not just a defense but a manifesto outlining his vision for a free Cuba. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison, yet his spirit remained unbroken. The Batista regime, under public and political pressure, released Castro in 1955, after he had served a mere two years of his sentence. This release marked another significant turning point in Castro's life and the Cuban Revolution. Following his release Castro left for Mexico. It was here that he met the Argentine Marxist revolutionary, Ernesto Che Guevara. Their meeting was a momentous occasion leading to a partnership that would forever change the course of Cuban history. Together they formed the 26th of July movement, named after the date of the Moncada Barracks attack. The movement was a revolutionary organization with the aim of overthrowing the Batista regime. In Mexico, Castro and Guevara trained a guerrilla army preparing for their return to Cuba. Their time in Mexico marked an essential phase in their revolutionary journey as they planned, strategized, and readied themselves for the battles to come. Castro's revolutionary path was fraught with challenges, but it was his unyielding spirit that eventually led him to power. His journey from the failed Moncada barracks attack to the formation of the 26th of July movement shows us the resilience and determination of a man who refused to accept defeat, a man who would become one of the most influential figures of the 20th century. In 1959 Castro's relentless struggle finally paid off as he seized power in Cuba. This was a pivotal moment in the history of the Caribbean nation. Castro had successfully led his revolutionary forces in overthrowing the government of Fulgencio Batista, a leader widely criticized for his authoritarian rule and his cozy relationship with American interests. With power in his hands, Castro quickly set about transforming Cuba. He launched a series of sweeping reforms aimed at redressing the inequities of Cuban society. His policies were largely socialist in nature, reflecting his belief in the need for a more equitable distribution of wealth. Industries were nationalized, land was redistributed, and education and healthcare were made freely available to all Cubans. While these policies were popular among many Cubans, they were a source of concern for the United States, which saw its economic interests in Cuba, threatened. The tension between Castro's Cuba and the United States escalated rapidly. In 1961 the US backed an unsuccessful attempt to overthrow Castro, known as the Bay of Pigs invasion. This failed operation only served to strengthen Castro's position and further sour relations between the two nations. The following year, the world watched with bated breath as the Cuban Missile Crisis unfolded. The Soviet Union, with Castro's approval, had placed nuclear weapons in Cuba, sparking a tense standoff with the United States. The crisis was eventually resolved, but not before it brought the world to the brink of nuclear war. Throughout all these challenges, Castro stood firm, consolidating his power and maintaining his commitment to socialist principles. His leadership, while controversial, shaped the course of Cuba's history and left an indelible mark on global politics. Castro's rise to power marked a significant shift in Cuba's history, one that would have lasting implications for the nation and the world. His story is a reminder of the complexities of power, politics, and the pursuit of ideological conviction. Fidel Castro, a figure of controversy, left an indelible mark on the world stage. His rule, which stretched over nearly half a century, was characterized by a potent blend of charisma, defiance, 
and an unyielding dedication to the principles of the Cuban Revolution. Under Castro, Cuba became a player on the world stage, surviving a staggering 600-plus attempts on his life, not to mention the economic sanctions imposed by the United States. This survival was not just a testament to Castro's tenacity, but also to the resilience of the Cuban Revolution itself. Education and healthcare saw significant improvements under Castro's rule. Literacy rates soared, and Cuba's healthcare system became one of the most lauded in the developing world. These achievements however did not come without a cost. Dissent was suppressed, often brutally, and the Cuban people endured economic hardships, with the average Cuban living on less than a dollar a day. In 2008, Castro's health began to decline and he resigned from office, handing the reins to his younger brother, Raul. The world watched as the charismatic leader, who had been a fixture on the international scene for so long, stepped down. Castro's death in 2016 marked the end of an era sparking a wave of both mourning and celebration across the globe. Castro's legacy is as diverse and complex as the man himself. His detractors view him as a dictator, a man who prioritized ideology over the welfare of his people. His supporters, on the other hand, see him as a champion of the poor, a leader who stood up to the might of the United States and refused to be cowed. Castro's legacy, like the man himself, is complex and multifaceted, a testament to a life lived in the relentless pursuit of a vision.